Hello guys, it's me Sian Viper and welcome back to another episode of our FIFA 22 player career mode aka Kim Jong-un player career mode So as you guys know, we ended our last episode right here uh, A lot of things happened In last episode, we got sailed to Bayern And we got injured twice, a long injury So, in our quarterfinals, so let's get right into this game Against Spurs so we are still in soft, but we are coming in as 56 minute. So we are winning it seems. 2-0. Gakpo at very first minute and Barella. So we are coming in in, in place of Eren Zeko. Very interested in finding out about Arturo Vidal. If you believe the story. Let's go. We are in. Oof. Nice soft. Vidal considering retirement. Bro, the injured I can I can again. Why? Why? I can't believe we're we getting so much injury. I get injured so much, you know. Like I hope. Oh, me. Soldier, look, our soldier has been completely fucked. It's our soldier again. I mean, we just sprain our ankle as well. Twenty minutes to go. Nice passing sequence. Let's see if we can score. Let's go. Great goal from Kim Jong Un. Or shall I say, injured Kim Jong Un. And we can score another one. Oof. We all flopped it, but come on. Let's go. No. What? We just, we just went past me. Went past us. If we, if we can score one more goal, then we can like put this old tie in bed. Quite difficult to come back from 4-0. Unless you are Barca. You know, Ramon Tade. Shout out to Neymar, of course. That was all his game. But Messi got a little too much praise instead of him. Probably the... People say it's probably the reason or the last main reason why he uh, left Barca nice tackle what, what was the pass Martinez? bro we could have scored another goal there GG I am mean, not completely GG but we won 3-0 at the home as well that's pretty good we scored one goal as well and our injury icon wasn't a bad injury, thankfully. So the next game we have the league game. I think I will I will do a training and then I will skip that. So let's see how, how many games we have before our second leg with Spurs. Oh, so this is the only one. That's good. I was about to like if if it was less than three and I would have simmed both the games. So let's quick sim this one. We probably are going to win, yes, 3-1 and Kim Jong-un scored as well. And we got the match rating as well. So let's get in right into the second leg of our quarterfinals against Spurs. 3-0 on aggregate, we are leading 3-0, so it's probably going to be an easy match. So that's GG guys. 5-1 on aggregate and Kim Jong-un scored another brace. Easy, easy win for us. And now Inter and Kim Jong Un are headed into the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League. So another big game for us. So we're up against AC Milan, our game. and we it seems it seems we have really tough games as well. AC Milan, Torino, and then we are Juventus, and then the Conference League and Fiorentina. Our second ever Milan derby. We scored two braces. I think we scored. We won three nil. Like I think, and I think we scored. Kim Jong Un scored two goals and very sick goals as well. So let's hope we can do the same uh, now as well. Venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro. 
Ooh, so today's the day we could be crowned champions as well. You know, it's pretty sick that we can win our title against. Yo, let's go. Easy goal, bruh. Kim Jong Un loves the Milan derby, man. He loves the Milan derby. And we are probably, so it seems we are probably going to win the win Serie A while in front of AC Milan. And that's what I'm sick. While playing against AC Milan, oh, and he's scoring a brace as well, and also becoming top scorer in the league as well. I mean, I don't know if we are top scorer in the league, but at least we are the top scorer for Inter. That's an easy tap in, man. Tap in Arlo. Huh, top word, tap in Arlo. Last time we scored. Ooh, Kim Jong is on fire, tackling left, right, and center. Ah. I saw it too late, man. So we do have 29 goals, it seems. Ah, there's a bad turn. But I'm really good at tackling for some reason. Bro, Sensi. Who the hell is Sensi, man? They're doing great assist for us. Yeah, matter of inches. Ooh, look, what's going on? I am tackling so easily. 83 points. Juventus are, are on second with only 66. I think we have still not lo lost a single game. Let's go. Might just be a hat trick. Yes, go hat trick hero. Our second ever Milan derby and score a hat trick. And it should be an entertaining match. sitting ever deeper. Let's go, maybe we can score five. Let's go. Bruh. Five goals for the Supreme Leader Kim Jong Un in his second ever Milan Derby. In the Milan Derby. Yeah, it's like so one sided, man. We're definitely going to win the league here. Tomari is a uh, boy, it feels like I'm playing semi pro, man. What's, what are AC Milan doing? Six, that's double hat trick. That's double hat trick for Kim Jong Un, and I swear I'm not playing in six semi pro. I mean, we don't really need to score anything, we have sc scored six goals already. So I might just, you know, take source outside the box to score like full goals. And Kim with it. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Bro, what? What's going on? Seven goals, and every single one of them has been scored by Kim Jong Un. That's the most impressive thing. It's like I'm playing the Conference League, man. GG, look at that, man. 6, 11, 39, 45, 54, 56, and uh, I, don't, I didn't see that last one, but easy seven goals for Inter, seven goals for Kim Jong Un. Jesus Christ, even our short conversion rate is 58, dude. 58, and we only, only had 8 shots on target. Only 8. So we only one of them was saved by the goalkeeper. Which is kind of weird because in the last Milan derby, he was saving so much. We even got this tap in, man. It didn't, it didn't show us winning a title though, or anything about that. Our title. And they did they really say it, but. It didn't show us. So I'm con Oh, we did. Let's go. We won. So we won Syria A. Which means Inter won it back to back. You know. If we are talking about the real life scenario. Another league title. Another trophy in the bag. For Kim freaking on Zoom. Kim Jong freaking on. Look, he's sweaty, man. Of course he's sweaty. He scored seven goddamn goals, and here I, I I'm going to show it again. But the difficulty is still unprofessional. Just to be clear, you know. So, oh, we have scored 66 goals, man, already. And even even this year, I thought we'll probably end up like 50 something, not 66. So, how many games do we have to play now? So we have played 32. So we still have six games to play. We actually still have six more games to play. Let's see. 
what the games are against so we have Torino then you have Juve and Fiorentina so that's three games and then we have against Sassuolo Bergamo aka uh, Atlanta and then we have Bologna the last last game of the season I believe we try to win the cup as well as the uh, conference league you know a travel a quote unquote travel I'm not really a travel but still still a travel so let me just quick sim this game we won 3 nil. we didn't score but we won 3 nil. that's all for today guys hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video make sure to like share comment and subscribe because that helps a lot and yeah that's all for today thanks for watching bye so when so when we were playing against AC Milan it said that we could win the title this game and we did win it as well because in the court scene after the game we could clearly see in the locker room scene that we had the trophy but for some reason we only got to celebrate the trophy we only got to celebrate the trophy while we were playing against Juventus on this game against Ju Juventus which is kind of weird I don't know why that's happening because it's not like there's the last game of the season even either if it was the last game of the season then it could have made sense somehow and it was true we did uh, win the league against AC Milan where but so for some reason we only got we only we only got we only getting the trophy at the UA game and I didn't even you know I'm just playing it uh, offline to get some well, some of the this game the out so just to Don't play some of this game but uh, the and as soon as they started they doing the celebration I pressed the record button now and yeah the here's the video well for some of these players it will be the pinnacle of their careers they just have to take it all in now and realize what they've achieved here it doesn't come much better than this does it and just look at those fans they've followed their club everywhere There's really a match made in heaven between players and fans and these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time and this is always part of the fun Stuart the photographs well, this photo will be hanging up in the study for years to come, won't it? Just make sure you're in that front row. That would be my advice. So there we have it. The league champions.